there is a room at Landfair that no one knows about that I just stumbled on totally by accident. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't think that's possible. I lived in Landfair for years. I know every nook and cranny of that mansion. Oh, well, do you know about the room off the library, the one you get to by the uh, bookcase opening the wall? I didn't think so. You see, it's not a wall. It's a panel. It opens and it shuts. And when it's open, you find a little staircase, and you go down that staircase, and it leads right to a room, a room that Victor had built just for himself. I told you you'd be shot. <laughs> You're joking. Absolutely not. Why would Victor build a, a secret room? There are so many rooms in that mansion. It's where he carried on in his very, very personal life. You see, he used to even tape conversations with the women he was having affairs with. What amazes me is that Vicky can't believe that Victor would have seduced my mother. He seduced plenty of women, Dorian, and then he just threw them away. In fact, all the evidence is right down there. I'm speechless. But you know, I think your love really changed him. You should be very proud of that fact. Yeah. This Room, is this where you found the letter where Victor acknowledged that he was your father? Yes. That letter was written towards the end of his life. How did it get in the room? He was bedridden. I have no idea. What else is there in the room? Uh, are there letters? Letters and tapes. Tapes? Yes, in fact, also some pictures of some of the women he was seeing, which I just happen to have right here. See now? Uh, what kind of uh, tapes were they? Tapes, like the ones you uh, kept in that box that you, you stored away. I see. Did you listen to any of these tapes? Oh, no, no. It was much too boring. Well, listen, what do you think of these? Not much. Tina, when you started all this, great saga. You said that you would protect both of our interests. Have you found out something? Do I need protecting? Dorian, I am feeling absolutely desperate now. I mean, it's obvious that Vicky is leaving me no choice but to go and take this into court. And then I would have no choice but to tell everybody about Victor's secret room and Victor's secret life. That would be very unwise. Oh, I agree. I mean, the publicity would be atrocious, and I don't want that any more than anybody else does. But if I don't do that, then Vicky's going to wander around talking about what a sterling character Victor has and how he couldn't possibly have seduced a 19-year-old girl. Yes, so I understand you are here to warn me. No. No, Dorian, I am here to ask you to show Vicky the room. You could tell her that you always knew about it and that you just didn't want to disillusion her about her father. Oh, I see. And when you... <laughs> You think that when Vicky sees this room, she's going to stop fighting you? Well, she couldn't do anything else, believe me. You haven't seen this room. It is amazing. <sighs> Tina, have you got any little surprises for me planned in that room? Surprises? You know, something you found there that might embarrass me. Something that you could blackmail me with. Oh, come on, Dorian. I have already told you that I consider you a very dear friend. Why are you so suspicious of me? Cautious. Dear, cautious is the word. Well, I have found nothing, not any mention of you, your name, anything in any of the tapes, or anything down in the secret room. Dorian, I truly believe that your love changed, Victor. And now you can save the whole family from disgrace by, by showing Vicky how her father really lived. Yeah. And I'm sure that Vicky will be very grateful to me for that. Tina? <laughs> are you sure that there is... There is nothing that you are holding back now, something that you're not telling me, because this time, Tina, I want you to tell me the whole truth. I can't imagine why you think I could be withholding something from you. Because, Tina, dear, you have withheld this information for so long. That's because I didn't want to have to tell anybody about the secret room, but Vicky's left me no choice. Does anybody else know about it? Yes. 
Unfortunately, Clint does. Clint knows and he didn't tell Vicky? He took one look at that room and realized how devastating it would be to her. Yes, that's something I have to think about, isn't it? We don't want to destroy those nice rose-colored glasses, do we? Oh, come on, Dorian. Are you trying to tell me that you're trying to protect Vicky? No, I'm not. Well, can I have your help then? Well, I'm going to have to think about that. Oh, come on. I would think the curiosity would send you running over there to have a look anyway. Tina, I will call you about it later today. Look, just please keep in mind, Dorian, that you are my last chance at bringing a peaceful ending to all this, and you are also my Dorian, last chance. Dorian said you were... Oh, hello, Tina. Hi, Herb. Uh, I was just on my way out. She's all yours. Oh, wonderful. So good seeing you again, Tina. Yes, I do hope I hear from you soon. Oh, you will. You will. Bye-bye. Oh, come on. What's that face all about? You haven't been here long enough for us to start fighting. Just wondering what Vicky's in for now. Herb, you know, you really should stop defending Vicky all the time. You're going to feel pretty silly. So will she in just a few months' time. <laughs> Look, I didn't ask you over here to talk about Vicky or Tina. Please, won't you sit down? I want to talk about Cassie. Are you aware of her plans for this summer? To go see David? Or... Yes, yes, I yes. am. Well, do you? I am going to do everything I can to put a stop to it. Well, I agree. She mustn't go. Herb, yeah. do you already know that David's been doing espionage work for the government? Well, yes, I'm aware of it. I didn't realize that you knew. You what? You knew about that? And you didn't tell me? Mm.